he was the man born to be king, but comes to the throne later in a life spent in the public eye. My wife and I are delighted to be in Scotland today to... A strained marriage to Princess Diana, seen here at the Glasgow Garden Festival in 1988, and her subsequent death in 1997, sparked questions about the whole future of the royal family. A quarter of a century on, though, the new monarch has appeared more personally content. With Camilla at his side, he cuts a much more relaxed figure than once he did. I think people really accept them very well now, and I think they will continue to see their sense of duty. And I, I, I don't see issues coming up at all. I think people will get right behind both of them. Oh, it's a game that we play. At Gordonston in Murray, rehearsals for a drama production are in full swing. When the new king was a pupil here in the 60s, he appeared in the school play Macbeth. He lived in Windmill Lodge. The bedroom he once occupied is still in use and still furnished with his old bureau and chest of drawers. And while he's been on record that his school days were not necessarily the happiest of his life, they did shape large parts of his interests and outlook. When you get under the skin of what really went on for Charles, how much he learned as a pupil at Gordonston, it's really clear to see how that has been such a positive and strong influence on his life. In Ayrshire, the historic Dumfries House has been restored by the new King's Charitable Foundation and has played a role in creating opportunities and transforming lives. Nicole took part in a sustainable fashion course there and was impressed by His Majesty's personal interest in it. When I spoke to him, he remembered something that I had spoke to him the first time about, so I really, was really quite taken back by that. They actually remembered who I was and what we, what we had done with our careers beforehand and where we came from. There will be huge challenges ahead for the King, the first new monarch in most of our lives. He has had a long time to think about and prepare for what now lies ahead. Gordon Cree, STV News.